Hey peeps, so this is a different view than you're used to seeing. I used to show you the whole spread and I usually show you all the ingredients up front. I'm not, I can't, sorry. So uh, my kitchen's a mess, I have to clean it, but in the midst of that I'm going to cook. It is very, very hot right now, but I still wanna cook. So I'm actually doing my version of smothered cabbage, which will just be like um, the way my family makes collard greens. So I'll show you the size of the cabbage soon, don't worry. Um, but right here I have three holes. So back home they cut up the, the smoked turkey wings. Here they do not. So I have three whole smoked turkey wings that I broke up. So I broke up the tip, the flat, and the joint. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Whatever. I broke up the whole wing to the three pieces. The drum. Thank you. And um, and so I have three quarts of water. Sorry, three liters of water here. This is about a seven and a half quart pot, I believe. And I'm put this on medium. It's gonna cook for two hours on a medium flame. The water will cook down, I'll continue to replace it, I'll move stuff around. But the important thing is you have to cook this till the the meat breaks down, which normally would happen way quicker, but because the pieces are bigger, it won't. So it takes a while for it to break down. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come back in an hour, I'll probably show you the size of the cabbage, um, and then I'll show you what's going on. If there's any kind of foam that comes up, just skim it off. But you really do wanna have this covered for at least two hours. Um, you can check on it every hour, but at least two hours before you put the cabbage in. So I'll see you then. So you're probably wondering why this pot looks different. It is. It's uh, the pot that I used to steam stuff in. Yeah, I know it's steaming. So I had to switch. So I washed the dishes. So that pot was just too small. It kept boiling over. It was a whole hot ass mess. So I just switched to this pot. You do want a pot that is big enough to accommodate everything. Um, I also want you to know I'm not using all of these wings in this um, recipe because I don't have to I will be using a decent amount of them because like nine pieces here and I do use the skins and the meat and everything I'm just taking like the bones off when it eventually is soft enough to do that this is the cabbage I mean I want to see it's like three four pounds um, and I'm gonna be dicing this into large pieces um, I was thinking about using that pot again, but I'm just going to just use this pot. So I'm going to strip. When I strip the meat off, I'll just use the meat for salads because why not? If you can have grilled chicken and all those other kinds of meats and salads, I think you should be able to have smoked turkey and salads. Eat some of it because why not? And then um, I will come back and I'll let you know how long this took because I had to add 15 minutes because I had to switch pots and then change the heat setting and move it to a different eye and this whole shebang. But anyway, so I'm going to put this, leave this for another hour, put the lid back on. And then we'll be back. I'll be back. Check it after two hours. If it's not ready, then I'll um, just keep putting the timer on like every 30 minutes. And then I can tell you the full time these whole wings took. So this pot is empty. I'm actually going to turn it off. And you're probably wondering, why is this pot empty? I'm going to let heat the heat evaporate up and um, evaporate some of this liquid because the cabbage is also going to give off a lot of liquid. And this pile of meat is here. I'm going to let it cool because I'm going to take the meat and everything off the bone. The skin I'm probably going to cut up to make it more manageable, but it has fallen off. Just So I was in for two and a half hours. It has just fallen off. I absolutely love it. The broth, there is some saltiness to it, but not a lot. So we will be adding salt, um, salt, pepper, and the red pepper flakes, like I said. And we're going to layer it. So you'll see after I tear up the meat, we're going to layer that cabbage with the, um, with the turkey. Hey peeps, I'm back. I put the water on. There's the cabbage. I cut it all up. I cubed it and washed it. These are the bones. These are these are from Mama. Here is the meat. Um, and I'm going to just layer it here. And um, I'm going to get the spices now. Well, the seasonings, whatever. So I can kind of show you how I do it. Not going to be easy. Because <laughs> I didn't get a tripod for some reason. But pretty much what you're going to do. I think for this, because this pot is so wide. I can just um, pour the cabbage, dump the seasonings, um, cook it. I'm going to cook it for like an hour. So I'm going to cook it for half an hour, taste for seasoning, and then add more as necessary. But yeah, I'm going to show you that. So I'll be right back with the seasonings. Okay, here we go. I'm about to put this cabbage in, boy. I think I'm glad I, got, I have the wider pot. And a lot of the liquid cooked off um, as well. Put that there. I'm probably going to have half this bowl of um, the thing, but I'm going to have to clean my hands off. 
because I need to open the pepper. So I do like a nice amount of pepper. And I really don't know how much to tell you to put. That was at least a tablespoon. The red pepper flakes. One second, I'm opening this cap because these holes are useless. Okay, that was probably like half a tablespoon. And then salt. I'm just gonna use the other part. Probably anywhere from one to two tablespoons. <coughs> cabbage, because the cabbage doesn't have any salt. There we go. Not a lot. And then that broth, like I said, the meat didn't have too, too much salt. And then I'm just gonna add about half this meat. Shake it, 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 shake it. Any more meat? Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, be like that. <laughs> um, there you go. And <laughs> damn, that pepper's still open. And so there's everything. It's on a medium heat. I'm taking a quick picture. It's on a medium heat. I'm going to let it go for half an hour, taste the broth. I'll show you what it looks like after that. I'm, of course, going to put the lid on and everything. I'm going to mix this all up, and I'm going to be feasting on these bones. Um, and, yeah, I left these pieces big. They're going to break down some more as this cooks. But, yeah, cannot wait to see what it looks like when I come back. And if I need to add more meat, I can, because, remember, the meat's already not just cooked through, but tender. Here's the final product. The liquid cooked down a ton. There's so much at the bottom. Or so little at the bottom. So I'm going to taste a little bit of it. I did let this cool down. So here's some cabbage on here. But I'm going to try cabbage and a piece of um, meat. One second. A piece of meat out. Uh, oop. That's still hot. It's been cooled down for like more than 20 minutes. I mean, here's my spoonful. Ha ha ha. Mmm. That's good. Really peppery. Um, you want your cabbage firmer? You can do 45 minutes. I think this is good. I'm gonna have this over some rice. So I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm sorry, it's so foggy. One second. There we go. It's gonna fog up again soon, but I'll see y'all in the next video.